कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके डी डी वोटिस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड श्री गुरवे गौर चंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम हरे कृष्ण सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर स्टडी ऑफ श्री भगवद गीता हाउ मेनी चैप्टर्स आर देयर किड्स इन भगवद गीता एटीन एंड हाउ मेनी वर्सेज आर देयर सेवन हंड्रेड आर आई थिंक इन द लास्ट वन वीक यू हैव शॉर्ट ऑफ You have grown taller. Okay. Grown taller. Okay. So, fourth chapter is entitled "Transcendental Knowledge." What is the meaning of transcendental knowledge? Divya Dhyan. Yes. Sal, what is transcendental knowledge? Yes, transcendental divine knowledge means to know Krishna, hmm? and we are going uh, to start from verse number twenty six today. So Bhagavad Gita four point twenty six. Where is your Bhagavad Gita? <laughs> This is it. I took yours. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, find one Bhagavad Gita yeah. somewhere so you can all share. Anvika, where is your Bhagavad Gita, brother? Okay, so everyone should try to have Bhagavad Gita with them. So again, this is Bhagavad Gita four point twenty six. Lord Krishna is giving instructions to Arjun about transcendental knowledge. So please repeat after me. Shrotra dinindriya nanye samya magni shujuvati. शब्दादीन विषयान अन्या इंद्रियाग्निशुजुवती श्रोत्रादीन इंद्रियान अन्ये सम्यमाग्निशुजुवती शब्दादीन विषयानिया विल रीड द वर्ड टू वर्ड मीनिंग एंड देन वी विल रिसाइड द वर्ड्स अगेन श्रोत्र आदिनी सच एज द हियरिंग प्रोसेस श्रोत्र मीन्स टू हियर इंद्रियाणी मीन्स द सेंसेस अन्य अदर्स संयम संयम करना मीन्स टू रेस्ट्रेन कंट्रोल अग्निशु इन द फायर जुहुवती टू ऑफर शब्द आदीन साउंड वाइब्रेशन एटसेट्रा आदि मीन्स एटसेट्रा शब्द मीन्स साउंड वाइब्रेशन विषयान मीन्स द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन वॉट आर सम ऑफ द विषय ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन कैन यू गिव एग्जाम्पल्स हाँ Those are the senses, correct? Those are indriya. What are the vishay? Krishna is saying vishay. Vishayan. What are some of the vishay? Some of the objects of senses for gratification. Yes, Anvika. Huh? Hearing is the function of the ears. What are some of the objects of sense gratification? Yes, beta. iPad. Yes, <laughs> Ricardo is have a holding an object of sense gratification in his hand right now. Bhagavad Gita, divine knowledge. Is it in Spanish online? English. English? Okay. <laughs> he says he is not Mexican. He is Indian. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I'm too young. Sorry. So give me some examples of sense gratification objects. Objects of vishay. Vishay kisa kehte hai? Movies. Movies is sense gratification for the ears and the eyes. For food. Food. Restaurant food. It is vishay. It is the object of sense gratification for the tongue. Yes. 
video games video games is object of sense gratification for the mind eyes yes very nice so these are, yes books yes mundane books like novels like novels comics and other other things which are not related to krishna thank you prabhu is that better huh? so in this way there are many vishay many objects of sense gratification you go to the supermarket what do you see objects of sense gratification is everybody understanding so we have senses five senses eyes nose tongue skin ears when we enjoy with these senses the things that we enjoy with are called vishaya objects of the indriya of the senses so what is amazon it is a storehouse of vishaya <laughs> objects of sense gratification so krishna is saying vishayan means objects of sense gratification anni others indriya indriya means senses examples okay very good agni shu agni means in the fires juhavati they offer or sacrifice so everybody saw the word to word meaning now let's read the translation translation and purport by our beloved founder acharya his divine grace shri shrimad abhay charana arvind bhakti vedanta swami maharaj prabhu pad jagat guru shrila prabhu pad ki some pure brahmacharis sacrifice the shrotra the hearing process adi and the all the senses where in the fire of mental control and others people like all of us householders anni people like us householders they sacrifice the objects of senses vishaya in the fire of the senses okay so krishna please try to understand krishna is teaching us in this verse how we can make our life successful everyone here wants to make their life successful yes so this one shloka of bhagavad gita fourth chapter 26th verse can teach us how to make our life successful so everybody please pay attention two types of people are described in this verse and how both of them can attain perfection of life one is a brahmachari brahmachari means someone who is not into householder life but lives in the ashram with the guru and is living a very disciplined life of anushasan life of discipline under the guidance of guru that is called a brahmachari now we are householders we all live not in the ashram of the guru but we live in homes the second category of people anya others who are described are people like you and me people who are married people who are householders people who are grahasthas hmm? people who have jobs who live in their homes how we can make our life perfect that is described so first how the brahmacharis make their life perfect by sacrificing the hearing process in the fire of mental control mind control yes so that is what we will discuss what does it mean first let us understand what is sacrifice because yagna or sacrifice is been described in this verse have you ever seen some puja in the temple have you seen that fire they create hmm? everybody has seen anybody who has not seen a yagna being performed a sacrifice in the the havan we call it everybody has seen raise your hand if you have seen avan so everybody has seen avan mata ji aap to dikshit ho aapne to dekha hi hai aap to baithe ho ye dene mein theek hai so that is the sacrifice what are the ingredients in the sacrifice there is the fuel wood there is the ghee which is also fuel there is the yagna kund a special place where the fire is lit and then there are offerings that are made in that fire banana fruits grains nuts hmm? sesame seeds these are all the offerings that are made om swaha and those offerings are made 
So these are the ingredients of yajna. Krishna is saying that we have to make our life a life of yajna, a life of sacrifice, yajna. Then our life becomes pure and spiritual. And how to make it? For the brahmachari, controlling the mind, the mind may say, I want to go for a movie. Mind may say, I want to eat food in a restaurant. Now, those of you who are new, coming here for the first time, you may find this idea very disturbing. <laughs> what is wrong in eating in the restaurant? We are paying the bill, we are giving a tip, and we are eating. That's okay. But when we go on the path of spiritual life, the sattvic life, it is a little different. See, today we have all come here. Our Sachin Prabhu has invited us. Thank you. How much has he charged all of you? Have you paid any ticket? Entry fee? No. You are going to get food to eat. It is free. Why? Because this is Yajna. What we are doing is a sacrifice. It is done out of love. It is done out of devotion. When you go to a restaurant, you pay the money, you give the tip, you pay the money, and then you are given food to eat. So it is a give and take relationship. They are doing it as a profession. They want to make money. They are not serving you because they love you. But here, all of us are going to be served selflessly without expecting anything. As a matter of sacrifice, yadne or seva. This is the difference. When you see a painting, look at that painting over there on the wall. When you look at a painting, the painting affects you. Prabhuji, you are sitting there. Who is that painting? Krishna. The person who painted it decided, I want to paint Krishna. Who will be holding a flute. His lips are reddish like the bimba fruit. His eyes are long like lotus flower. He has a beautiful tilak on his forehead and he has a peacock feather in his turban. This the artist decides and then the artist paints. Now Prabhuji saw that painting and immediately he was reminded of Krishna. This is Krishna's painting, correct? That artist told you? No, there is no need. You saw the painting, which is the artist's ka bhav hai, wo us painting, mein hai, painting ko dekhtar, it is affecting you. The artist has certain emotions, certain devotion when he painted, he or she painted that painting. And as soon as you see that painting, you are affected by the thoughts of the artist. What was the thought of the artist? I want to paint Krishna. And immediately you got Krishna by looking at the painting. Similarly, cooking is an art. When we cook, we put our emotions in it. We put our hard work in it. Cooking also is a yadnya. There is fire. There are ingredients. You heat them, you cook. The consciousness, the chitta of the cook affects the person who eats. Jaise, that painting affected Prabhuji immediately and he was reminded of Krishna. Kiski painting hai? He looked Krishna. It affected him. Because that was the mood of the artist when that artist painted. Similarly, when we eat food cooked by somebody in a restaurant, we don't know he is a criminal. He may be a registered offender. He may be an ex-convict. He may be eating meat. He may be doing all sorts of things. When we eat food cooked by those people, we order from McDonald's, Chick-fil-A and Burger King and all those places. We have no idea who has cooked it. They are cooking it for money. When they are serving us, they are, they are expecting how much tip this fellow will give. So they are thinking of money. They are thinking of profit. And that's what we are eating. Those selfish thoughts, those sinful thoughts will come into our mind. This is a subtle science. This is a subtle science. And it, it works. Just like that painting worked on you. Restaurant food will also work on you. On everyone. Hmm? So, how does a brahmachari make the life perfect? The brahmachari performs yadnya, sacrifice, by offering the power to hear into the fire of sense control. I'll give an example. Suppose a brahmachari thinks, I want to hear A.R. Rahman ki music. I want to hear Michael Jackson. 
ना ही अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है बट द ब्रह्मचारी नोज दिस इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर माई स्पिरिचुअल पाथ दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू रिमाइंड मी ऑफ कृष्ण दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू इंक्रीज माई डिवोशन फॉर कृष्ण सो द ब्रह्मचारी विल नॉट लिसन द ब्रह्मचारी विल लिसन टू कीर्तन द ब्रह्मचारी विल लिसन टू कथा दैट इज कॉल्ड सैक्रिफाइन दैट इज कॉल्ड यज्ञ यज्ञ में वेन यू आर डूइंग यज्ञ कैन यू पुट एनी डर्टी सब्सटेंस देर नो द पंडित जी विल टेल यू लिस्ट क्या क्या लाना है what you have to buy get rice get fruits only those things can be offered you cannot just put any you cannot put a chappal in the yajna correct so similarly a brahmachari will not hear film fare or what are those in the magazines when you check out in walmart and kroger they are kept with all those gossip enquirer and all those things this person is dying this people are divorcing you know all those breaking news which pure gossip a brahmachari will not a spiritual person will not hear all that we all have ears to hear agree and we all have a desire to hear that's why we meet people or bolo or bolo we talk on the phone kaise ho we call because we want to hear a spiritualist will hear things about krishna and will avoid hearing things that will agitate the mind and instigate the mind to do things that are not right for example we meet a person who is very fond of going to casino and he will say hey, atlanta bahut hi bakwas city hai chalo oh, kaun sa hai wo jersey city ha huh? las vegas chalo by meeting such a person hearing such person we will get a desire next vacation i am going to las vegas chalo open airbnb look at a place in the what is strip i'll stay there in las vegas why because we heard from somebody who likes to do gambling who likes to go to the casinos see the effect of company that we keep it immediately affects us you meet somebody who wants to go for a um, pop music show concert so by meeting friends who want to go for concerts immediately will feel like oh let me also go all my friends are going hmm? you remember radha when you were in school michael jackson came to bombay yeah. huh and there was peer pressure everybody has to go they you know they may not be so interested because all friends are going you have to go hmm? so therefore a brahmachari a spiritual person will not hear anything that will take one away from krishna can you give me some example from ramayan how just hearing lending your ears to the wrong person led to a big mistake yes very good example ravan heard from shurpanaka hmm? yes i think right from give me high five give me give a big hand hari bol when kaikeyi lent her ears to manthara she loved ram more than bharat it is a fact goswami ji writes in ramayan she loved ram more than bharat when ram and sita got married and they came to take ashirwad they came to take blessings goswami ji writes that she gave them blessings and walked out of her palace and said sita ram aaj se my mahal my palace belongs to both of you and she just walked out gave her own house who does that after marriage you go to meet someone and they say Uh, let me give you a gift take my house <laughs> anybody has done that <laughs> that was the love that kaiki had for sita and ram but then because she heard from manthara her mind became polluted and that same kaiki is now banishing ram and sita to the forest for 14 years this is the effect of listening to wrong people varsana mata ji hare krishna नो 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 आप आए आपने दर्शन दिया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हरे कृष्ण हाँ माता जी दिव्या माता जी मिलती हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द जपान कॉल्स एवरी मॉर्निंग हरे कृष्ण सो दिस इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ हियरिंग फ्रॉम द रॉन्ग पीपल सो व्हाट व्हाट वी आर हियरिंग हियर एंड अनदर एग्जांपल दैट यू गेव रावण रावण वॉज लिविंग इन लंका 
he did not know about Sita and Ram. But what happened? Shurpanakha happened to see Ram in the forest. And Shurpanakha got attracted to Lord Ram. And she wanted to marry Lord Ram. Lord Ram said, I am Ek Patni Vrata. I will marry only one. I am already married to Sita Ji. Sita Ji is with me. Maithili is there. I am married to Janaki. Vaidehi. So I cannot even look at you, Shurpanakha. You go. Hmm? But Shurpanakha wouldn't take no for an answer. That is a sign of someone whose senses are uncontrolled. Adanta Gobhir. One whose senses are uncontrolled. Look what here it is said in the process. Mental control. Look at the verse. The translation. Mental control. This mental control is very important. Sometimes what happens, we get an idea in the mind that I want to do this. And then we cannot take no for an answer. We have to do it. It becomes obsession. But this is very wrong. It will lead to our downfall. Shurpanakha got attracted to Ram and just wanted to marry him. She did not consider that he's already married. She told him, okay, you're already married. So you cannot marry me because you're married to Sita. Let me kill Sita. Then there is no problem. Then we can get married. And she attacked Sita. That's when Lord Ramachandra gave indication to Lakshman. Do the needful. And Lakshman stopped her, punished her and sent her away. But Shurupataka was still not done. She went to Lanka. She knew exactly what to do in order to get Ram. She wanted to separate Sita from Ram. So she told her brother, Ravan, that hey, Ravan, you have so many wives in Lanka, but none of them is even fit to become a maid servant of this Sita that I saw in the forest. She is so beautiful. There is only one person who deserves her. And that is you, my dear brother. You should immediately go and get married to her. Go and bring her to Lanka and make her your principal main queen. Then you will be really happy. Just by hearing this from Shurpanakha, Ravan became mad for Sita. Just by he had never seen Sita. But just by hearing that she is so beautiful, so beautiful, she's like this, she's all good qualities are there. He became obsessed with Sita Ji. So much that he wanted to go and abduct her. Even though Sita Ji was also married. You see? Shurpanakha and Ravana are brother and sister. Shurpanakha wants Ram without Sita. And Ravan wants Sita without Ram. And their younger brother is Vibhishan. What he wants? He wants to bring Sita and Ram together. <laughs> that is a devotee. So a devotee does not hear from people who will take you away from God. That is the first principle. Keep your ears for Krishna. Second, for householders. This is specifically for all of us. What should householders do? They sacrifice the objects of senses in the fire of the senses. What does this mean? A brahmachari can take Maun Brat. A brahmachari can say, I will stay alone in the ashram. I will not meet anybody. I will just sit and do bhajan. Can we do like that? No. We have to go and meet people. We have to go and work in the office. We cannot say, I will not look at atheists. I will not talk to atheists. We cannot do that. We are householders. So what are we supposed to do? How we can attain perfection in life? Krishna is saying that we sacrifice the objects, Shabda Adin Vishayan Anya, Indrayagnu Shu Juvati. We sacrifice all the objects of senses in the fire of the senses, which means we make our senses a Havan Kund, a sacrifice. If you want to eat, make the process of eating Yadnya. How you can make the process of eating Yadnya? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Yadnya Shishtashina Santo Muchante Sarva Kilbisha. That those who are Santa, those who are saintly people, Yadna Shishta Ashina. They eat food that has been offered to Krishna. Then that eating process also becomes Yadna. When you eat, now we are going to eat Prasad. So when you eat, we will say, Hare Krishna. This is Krishna Prasad. Hare Krishna. Therefore, before eating Prasad, we recite the Prasadam prayers. Maha Prasade Govinde Nama Brahmani Vaishnave. 
स्वल्प पुण्य व्रतम राजन विश्वासो न एव जायत वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर इट इज फ्रॉम महाभारत वॉट डज इट मीन महाप्रसाद मीन्स फूड दैट हैज बीन ऑफर टू गॉड महाप्रसाद गोविंद लॉर्ड कृष्ण महाप्रसाद गोविंद एंड नाम ब्रह्मणी शब्द ब्रह्म नाम विच इज ब्रह्म मीन्स कृष्णाज नेम द होली नेम एंड वैष्णव द डिवोटीज फोर थिंग्स आर मेन्शन महाप्रसाद मीन्स कृष्णाज Krishna, what has been offered to Krishna? Krishna Prasad, Mahaprasad, Govind, Krishna, Supreme Lord, Nama Brahmani, the spiritual, the holy name of Krishna, and fourth is Vaishnavas, the devotees of Krishna, Mahaprasade, Govinde, Nama Brahmani, Vaishnave. Those who are alpa punni, those who are very little punni in their bank account, very little punni, Vishwasa eva na jayate. they will never have vishwas they will never have faith in this four things krishna's mahaprasad krishna krishna's holy name and the devotees of krishna we are saying this every day and therefore with faith with shraddha with vishwas we should eat krishna prasad that this krishna prasad will purify my heart so what does a grahastha do in this regard i would like to tell a story please listen very carefully again this is the story of shripad ramanuja acharya one of the great acharyas who lived great spiritual teachers who lived in india south india around 1000 years ago shripad ramanuja acharya had a very rich chela very rich disciple and shripad ramanuja acharya was traveling in south india and he was going to this particular village where he had two disciples one was a very rich disciple who had a big house lot of money and the second disciple was very very poor they had hardly any money and they were living in a small hut outside the town shripad ramanuja acharya was traveling with dozens of disciples with him it was a big group dozens of them more than what we are here so shripad ramanuja acharya sent one disciple as the advance party to that village to notify the rich disciple that we are coming in a couple of days we are coming and please make arrangements for us to stay so these two disciple two servants they went to the house of that rich man who was a disciple of shripad ramanuja acharya and told him that gurudev is coming with 30 40 disciples to your house two days from now so gurudev has said please be ready be prepared they will come they will stay for one night and then they will continue their journey he became so happy he said hari bol gurudev is coming see in those days 1000 years ago there was no facebook internet so you couldn't keep in touch with your guru there are no status updates nothing there is not daily satsang on youtube so darshan of guru was very rare once or twice in lifetime somebody will get so gurudev is coming to town and staying with us such a good news he is only dancing in joy so okay okay i will make all arrangements he started calling us hey come on as if it is diwali clean the house decorate the house put mango leaves everywhere and flowers and everything clean the house go get grocery great grains fruits vegetables great lot of milk ghee we are going to cook for gurudev we are going to make arrangements he called servants clean the quarters of gurudev gurudev will live in that room his uh, disciples will sleep in that room they will have these bathroom facilities make all, all arrangements for gurudev started giving instructions to serve gurudev is it good if you think it is good say hari bol it is very bad you know why it was a trick question why is it very bad what he did we'll find out so those two servants they gave the message and then after some time they went back to their gurudev who was waiting in another village a little far away they offered obeisances pranam to gurudev shripad ramana said you gave message to that disciple 
Yes, Gurudev, we gave a message. And he is very happy. He is excited. He started preparations for your arrival. Achha, tell me exactly what he did when you told him that I am coming. Oh, Gurudev, we told him you are coming in two days with uh, 30, 40 disciples. And he was very happy. He said, Aho Bhagyam, Aho Bhagyam, good fortune, Gurudev is coming. He immediately started preparing for your arrival. Shri Padra Ramanujachari asked him, asked them, did he give you water to drink? Did he offer you prasad? Did he tell you to sit down? Did he offer any hospitality to both of you? The disciples looked down. They said, no Guru. Shri Padra Ramanujachari said, we will not go to his house. We will not stay with him. Forget him. Vishwaso Nevajayate. He doesn't have Vishwas in the Vaishnavas. <laughs> he has Vishwas in the Guru. He has Vishwas in Krishna. But he has no faith in Vaishnav Seva. He doesn't want to do Vaishnav Seva. I will not go. Listen, there is another devotee couple in that village. They are very poor. They don't have any facilities. They probably don't have any food in their pantry. Tomorrow you go and tell them that the next day Guru Dev is coming. And then the actually not next day, on the day of the arrival. On the day of the arrival, you tell Guru Dev, you tell that uh, devotee couple, husband, wife, that Gurudev is coming in a few hours. And the, you see the difference between that rich devotee and this poor devotee. So the day after that, the day when Shripad Ramanacharya was going to come in that village, these two servants, they go to the house of this devotee couple. They are very poor Brahmanas. The husband has gone to do puja in some temple. He is not at home. Only the wife is there. Her name is Lakshmi. So these two disciples, Brahmacharis, they go, they offer obeisances. They don't look at the Mataji. They look at her feet. And they say, Mother, Mataji, Gurudev is coming to your house. She was so happy. She said, really? Gurudev is coming? Yes, Gurudev is coming. And uh, he's coming in just a few hours. Around noon time, he'll come for lunch with 30, 40 disciples. So can you please cook and make arrangements? She said, yes, I will do. But you have given me such a good news. Such a good news. Morning only I offered some flowers to Thakurji, to our Lord Narayan. Let me give you some Mahaprasad. So she gave some water, told them to sit, gave them one or two fruits, what she had offered in the morning, some prasadi flowers. She said, thank you, you have come. I'm so happy. And she was repeatedly offering obeisances to those two brahmacharis. That you have given me the best of my life. Thank you, thank you. Please go and tell Gurudev that we are very excited and we are waiting for him and we'll be have everything ready at noon. So early in the morning. The Brahmacharis took, ate the fruits, they accepted the prasadi flowers and they folded their hands and they left and went back to Shripad Ramanujachari. Now the problem was Lakshmi and her husband they were extremely indigent. Very, very poor. They had no money. Unfortunately, there was a zamindar in that village, landlord. And he wanted to marry Lakshmi. Lakshmi was very beautiful. And he wanted to marry Lakshmi, but Lakshmi was already married to this Brahman. But he used to always come stand outside of the house when she would be sweeping the angan, cleaning the angan, sprinkling water in the angan. He would come and look at her. And she would feel very uncomfortable. She would go inside the house, wait for her husband to come back. This was going on for a long time. But he was a very powerful son. Now Lakshmi, she wanted to serve her Gurudev. This is what we are reading here. That a householder offers everything in the fire of the senses. Our senses are like fire. And we offer only Krishna Prasad in our senses. With the eyes, we will only see Krishna and Gurudev. With our ears, we will only hear Krishna Katha, Krishna Kirtan. With our nose, we'll only smell tulsi and flowers offered to Krishna. With our tongue, we'll only eat food that has been first offered to Krishna. Krishna Prasad. And with our skin, we will touch Krishna. Well, we dress him, worship him, or we will embrace the devotees. That's how we will use our sense of touch. 
So in this way, all the five senses are used in Krishna's service. So Lakshmi, she was all alone at home. Her husband had gone to do some puja. He would probably come at noon. And at that time, Guru Maharaj will come with all the disciples. And the kitchen was completely empty. There was nothing in the kitchen. There was no grocery in the kitchen. And they had no money to buy it. She didn't know what to do. How can I serve my Guru? The first time in my life Gurudev is coming. Probably I will never have Darshan of Shripad Ramanacharya again. He keeps traveling. He's a sannyasi. How do I serve him? How do I serve him? I need some money. I need some ingredients to serve him. You know what she did? To serve her Gurudev and to serve the Vaishnavas. See, in the scriptures there are examples which are very extreme. Like Dasharat Maharaj. When he was separated from Ram, Ram went for one verse. He cried so much that he died. Isn't it? These are extreme examples. The example of Jatayu sacrificing his life, even though he knew he stood no chance in front of Raman. These are extreme examples in the scriptures. Our scriptures are extreme examples. They are not to be imitated, but they are meant to give us prerana, inspiration, that this is the standard. This is the standard and I am here. It is meant to give us direction. It is meant to give us inspiration. Like a cricket khelta hai. They will look at Sachin Tendulkar and they will say, wow. Now, it's not that he's going to become Sachin Tendulkar, but Sachin Tendulkar's example is there. His shots are there to give inspiration. That this is the standard. I want to follow like that. So similarly, in the scriptures, there are examples of purity. Hanumanji Chati Padra. Huh? Hanumanji is ripping open his chest and giving darshan of Sita and Ram in his heart. This cannot be imitated. Hanumanji covering his whole body with that red color, Sindur. Because little bit Sindur pleased, Sita's little Sindur pleased Ram. So he covered his whole body with Sindur. I want to please Ram as much as I can. This cannot be imitated. But these examples are there so we understand the mood, that the mood is, should be to please Krishna. Samsidhir Hari Toshanam. So what Lakshmi did is not to be imitated, but it is a source of great inspiration. That How the great devotees are so great. Lakshmi went to the landlord, Hare Krishna. And she said, my Guru Dev is coming in few hours. I want to cook a nice feast for him. Can you please give me ghee, atta, rice, vegetables, fruits, milk, some firewood. I want to cook a nice feast for my Guru Dev and for the disciples of Guru Dev. There are many sannyasis with him. They keep traveling with him. They are coming. I have never got a chance to cook for my Gurudev. Divya Mataji, you want a chance to cook for Shri Bhad Vaishya Shri Maharaj? You'll be so happy, so excited. She said, I have never got a chance to cook for my Gurudev. Shweta Mataji, you would like to cook for Pujya Shri Premanand Baba? Dekho, if Baba says, Aaj roti bana ke lao. Yeah, that is the best day for a disciple. That today Gurudev will accept my offering. Lakshmi said, I have never got a chance to cook for Gurudev. Today I am getting a chance. She told her landlord, can you please help me? Can you please provide these ingredients? I have only 4-5 hours to cook. He said, yes, but then you have to marry me. I will give you whatever you want, but you have to marry me. Today only, you have to marry me. She said, okay. I will. This is the G version of the story. General audience version of the story. Yes, I will marry you. He called servants. He said, ghee, chawal, atta, vegetables, fruits, whatever she wants, milk, dahi, immediately carry it to her house. Ghar pochado. Carry it to her house. So she gave the whole list of ingredients. And every firewood, everything was provided to her. Big, big pots were provided to cook. So she lit fires. She started cooking, all excited. She took a bath in the Kaveri River and got ready and started cooking for her Gurudev. She had all these ideas. I'll cook this, I'll cook that, this sweet, this sabji, this dal, this rice, this jira rice and pulao and this and puri, sabji, roti, everything I'll make, all these items. 
and she cooked a huge feast for her Gurudev. And just then her husband came when the feast was ready. Her husband said, Lakshmi, we had nothing. We are going to fast today. Where did all this come from? You have cooked a feast for 50 people. What is the secret? She told her husband everything, what happened. She said, two brahmacharis came early in the morning. As soon as you left, they said, Gurudev is coming. Shirmad Ramanujachari is coming with around 30 disciples. All sannyasis and brahmacharis. We have a chance to serve them, but there was nothing. So I have told you about that landlord, a wicked fellow, dirty fellow. I didn't know what to do, so I went to him and I begged him, can you please help? And he has provided all this, but this is his condition. The husband started dancing in joy. He said, my life is successful that I have a dharma patni like you who is so dedicated to Guru Seva and Vaishnava Seva. You have such faith in your Guru Dev, in our Guru Dev. I'm so proud of you. Lakshmi said, Guru Dev will come any moment. Quickly offer all this to Lord Narayan. They had deities of Lakshmi Narayan in their house, in the mandir. So the husband took all the offerings and with so much love, tears in his eyes, he knew what is going to happen. But still with tears in his eyes, he offered everything with love to Lord Narayan, thanking Lord Narayan that you are giving us a chance to serve Guru Dev. Aho Bhagyam, Aho Bhagyam. He offered with love. And then removed that bhoga, when it is offered to Krishna, it becomes prasad. When Krishna accepts it, it becomes prasad. So he removed the prasad and they get, they get everything ready. They took banana leaves, they arranged them in the angan, in the courtyard for 30-40 devotees to sit. A special asan for Shripad Ramanujacharya and all the sannyasis with him. And just then Gurudev came. Shripad Ramanujacharya arrived. And they gave such a nice welcome by doing kirtan, chanting auspicious mantras with tears of gratitude in their eyes. They offered obeisances to Shripad Ramanujacharya and all the devotees. And they said, please have a seat. And with so much love and affection, each and every item the husband served, Gurudev and all the disciples. And she was making hot, hot puris, hot, hot chapatis and giving. Both of them, husband and wife, they served all the devotees and their Gurudev with so much love and affection. And everybody ate very nicely. And then Shilpad Ramanacharya got up and he said, now I want both of you to eat. You should also eat. So I will sit here and you eat. And he gave his own plate to them to eat from. Because that becomes Maha Maha Prasad. You know? So they are eating. And they finish eating. And then Shilpad Ramanacharya says, both of you look very happy and both of you look very sad at the same time. So something has happened. Please tell me, what is the problem? So Lakshmi starts crying and her husband tells Gurudev that this is the, we got this opportunity. We didn't want to pass this opportunity. We didn't want to miss this opportunity to serve you. So we took an extreme step and we agreed now. But we are so happy you came Gurudev and we got a chance to serve you once in our lifetime. Shirpada Ramanacharya, hearing about their sacrifice and their love, he had tears in his eyes. He said, Dhanya hai wo Guru. That Guru is Dhanya who has such disciples. He said, what can I give you? All my blessings are with you. All my love and affection is with you. And I pray to Lakshmi Narayan that they protect you. Shirpada Ramanacharya says, I have so much affection for you that now go, he tells Lakshmi, go. And meet the landlord. But take this prasad that I have eaten and you have eaten and your husband has eaten. Take the remnants of this Mahaprasad for the landlord. And I will be waiting here. So Lakshmi takes that Mahaprasad and goes to meet the landlord. And the landlord is so happy. She has come, she has come, she has come finally. She will never talk to me. Now she has come. He takes her inside, closes the door and she says, first you have to accept this gift I got for you. This is Mahaprasad. My Gurudev has said that first you have to take this Mahaprasad. I have cooked with all the ingredients that you supplied. My Gurudev came, he ate. All his disciples ate. And now please, you take. So she gave Mithai and Puri and Sabji, everything. You take a little bit. He said, yes, yes, why not? This is very nice. Tasty food. I will eat. So he ate. 
as soon as he ate the first morsel he put in his mouth little rice sabji dal he put in his mouth immediately something happened because that food was cooked by lakshmi who was such a great devotee it was offered by her husband to lord narayan with so much devotion it was served to shripad ramanujacharya with so much bhakti so much devotion shripad ramanujacharya had eaten it his disciples had eaten it and then these two devotees who had cooked they had eaten it and those remnants were given to the landlord you can imagine the potency the power of that maha maha prasad one morsel he put in his mouth and he experienced a surge of ecstasy in his heart he had never felt like that he said this is not ordinary food this is so divine and suddenly you look like a mother now and you offered obeisances he said lakshmi mata ji i'm so sorry i have troubled you for all these months and years please forgive me and with tears in his eyes he said today i want to take initiation i want to take diksha from your gurudev can you please take me to his lotus feet i want to have darshan of his lotus feet please take she said yes please come and she took the zamindar to shri pad ramanacharya who was waiting there in her little hut and he fell at the feet of shri pad ramanacharya she said i am a apradhi i am an offender i am a lusty fellow please forgive me i will go to hell if you don't forgive me i have committed such offenses shri pad ramanacharya said matravat paradaryeshu from today look at every woman as a mother except your wife every other woman paradari means other woman other than your wife matravat you look at every woman as your mother therefore in iskon we address every woman as mata ji it's not just a address mata ji but even the feeling should be like a mata ji that really she is like my mother utmost respect and all the men we call prabhu ji sal prabhu ji prabhu ji means you are my master and i am your servant this is the vaishnav culture culture of respect every lady is a mother other than one's wife and other than one's daughter <laughs> and every man every man is a prabhu and i am das this is the vaishno culture shri pad ramanujar said from today you look at every mother every lady including lakshmi as your mother he said yes guru dev just by eating your mahaprasad that feeling has come in the heart <laughs> he says you chant the name of narayan i will give you the narayan mantra you make your house into a temple worship lord narayan in your temple in your house and whatever you cook in your kitchen it should be offered with love to lord narayan don't use onion garlic in that food because uska naivedya nahi lagta thakur ji ko you cannot offer onion garlic to krishna everybody knows that anybody has doubt krishna doesn't eat onion garlic krishna is a person he has he has his own menu he has his list he doesn't like it give me a high five <laughs> radha bhav is asking can we <laughs> she is asking some people are saying can we make chicken without onion garlic no 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 chicken no mutton no eggs no onion garlic so it's like asking ki टेन डॉलर की चोरी करो क्या नहीं हंड्रेड डॉलर चोरी करो क्या नहीं इफ यू कैन नॉट स्टील टेन डॉलर इफ यू कैन नॉट स्टील हंड्रेड डॉलर आल्सो सो ईटिंग मीट इज अ बिगर ऑफेंस बिगर सिन बिकॉज़ वी आर गिविंग पेन टू एनिमल द हैमबर्गर दैट वी ईट इट इज कमिंग बाय द किलिंग ऑफ अ काउ एंड द काउ फील्स पेन शी हैज अ डेवलप्ड सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम सो शी फील्स पेन द पिग्स फील पेन द लैम्ब्स feel pain the hen feels pain the fish suffocate and die when they are fished but a apple doesn't suffer when you pluck a apple correct because they don't have a central nervous system just scientifically speaking so we should not give pain to others adveshta sarvabhutana in bhagavad gita krishna says it says patram pushpam phalam toyam you have to be vegetarian it's there in bhagavad gita so whatever vegetarian food we cook we should offer it to krishna 
at home. Shripad Ramanuchar is instructing this landlord and he gives him Diksha. He makes him a, his own disciple. And then he gives so much donation to that Brahman that their poverty also is over. Because they were living in utter poverty. And in the meantime, that rich disciple to whose house the message had first gone, he comes. He said, Are Guru Dev, I have been waiting two days. I made all preparations. Aapki bedroom tayar hai. Your food is ready. Everything is ready. You never showed up. I came to know from the villagers that you have come to this poor Brahmana's house. Shripad Ramanacharya said, Krishna gave up the feast of Duryodhana and went to the house of Vidurani. Vidur and Vidurani. He says, Bhaktya tushyati kevalam nachagunai bhakti priyo madhum. It is genuine bhakti that pleases me. And what is real bhakti? Ye me bhakta jana partha, na me bhakta shate jana mad bhakta naam chaye bhakta stay me bhakta uttama mad. Krishna says, those who are my devotees are not my devotees. Those who are devotees of my devotees, they are my topmost devotees. They may bhakta uttama mata. Yeah, if you tell Krishna I am Krishna's devotee, Krishna will not look at you. But if you tell Krishna that I am a devotee of your devotees, then Krishna will look at you. And he will say, Anvika, you are the best. <laughs> so Krishna likes the servants of the servants. Das, das, anudas. Mahaprabhu says, Gopi, Bhartur, Padakamalayor, Das, das, anudas. Servant of the servant of the servant. So, the take home message is two things. Give me attention for five minutes, then we'll end. Take home message is what? All of us, what we have to do is with our senses, Indriyo say, we have to do things that are blessed by Krishna. If we want to eat, we should eat Krishna Prasad. If we want to hear, we should hear Krishna Kirtan, Krishna Katha. If we want to smell, not Armani or we should sm smell perfumes that are offered to Krishna. Krishna offer karo. Recently we gifted a perfume to our Chirayu Prabhu. He's here. So he offered it to Radha Govindji first on the carpet in the mandir so that the mandir becomes fragrant. Hmm. So like that, whatever we do, that we can smell when we go. That sandalwood fragrance, musk fragrance, we can smell. So fragrance also should be offered to Krishna or flowers that are offered to Krishna. Hmm. With our skin, we should meet devotees. When I came, Prabhuji shook hand with me, said, Hare Krishna. Hey, you know? So you should touch devotees instead of touching somebody who is not a devotee of Krishna. Because that energy will come on us. You sit with people who love NBA, very soon you'll be talking about basketball. You sit with people who are into NFL, very soon you'll start talking about football. Either nobody knew about football, basketball. We speak the same language. This team, that team, this, this. Q Association. Give me another hand. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. I'm going to take you home with me. As a brahmachari. Haribol. <laughs> Basketball you don't like? You got hit on the head? So, <laughs> so we have to use all our senses in Krishna service. Eating Krishna Prasad. With our speech, we can do gossip, mundane talk. Talk about Hollywood, Bollywood, NDTV, Fox News, CNN and waste our time. When, um, I think 2018 or something, when that election was happening, presidential election was happening, it was so much nonsense that I decided I will not watch any news after that. So since then, six years, I have not watched any news. I deleted all those apps from my phone and I am a much happier person. Less garbage in. Because when the news comes, any news, it, they show it as so important. Breaking news, headlines, flashing news. You, you have to know this. Six years, I have not taken any news inside and I am still surviving. I still have my job. I still have my sanity. I have not died. <laughs> so it's not necessary. But these news channels will make you believe, man, you have to read the news. You have to spend hours every day. Precious time in the morning. Newspaper first. No. Morning time is for chanting Hare Krishna. You see the difference. Take a break from the social media. Take a break from tic-tac-toe. Take a break from Facebook. Take a break from Instagram. 
Snapchat. Try it. You'll see. Try it and see. Sorry, TikTok. TikTok. So TikTok toy is good. We can play that. <laughs> yes, TikTok toy is good, but TikTok not good. Huh? Avocados? Uh, avocado, huh, avocado seed. Very <laughs> give me a high five. <laughs> you can play a game out of it? Balancing on the head. That's good. One game. Yes. Shreya. It bounces bounce off the deck. Onto the grass. Don't bounce it inside the house, otherwise the hardwood will get damaged. <laughs> and Mataji will get angry. But yeah, you can bounce it on the deck all you want. Good game. So now, Shreya, you and Anvika can share your games about avocado seeds. Okay? You can be avocado buddies. <laughs> So in this way, whatever senses we have, we should use it in connection to Krishna, our power of speech. Talk about Krishna, hear about Krishna, eat Krishna Prasad, see Krishna conscious things, come for Krishna conscious satsangs. Does it sound too drastic? Prabhuji? <laughs> Don't worry. We are into this for so many years. We are happy. Very happy. <laughs> This is the best, best friend circle we can get. Our Chaitanya Nithai Prabhu, such a dear friend. Hmm? So we have been together in this Krishna consciousness. Krishna Bhakti will give you the best friends. Friends who will be with you through thick and thin. Not friends who are unhealthy competitors. Who will try to pull you down. Who will try to look better than you. Hmm, my makeup is better. I am looking younger. No, in Krishna consciousness, all these things are not there. Krishna consciousness is on a different level. The friendship is based on Krishna in the center. Like uh, the five Pandavas, they were living so peacefully. No fight. Because all of them were devotees of Krishna. And the last thing I want to say is, so first, uh, one thing is that we have to do everything with our senses in the service of Krishna. And the next thing you can note down, it is ABCD. For all of us living a householder life, offering all the Objects in the fire of senses means making everything a yadnya and everything is used in the service of Krishna. It can be simplified as A, B, C, D. But listen to this, take it home with you. Bhagavad Gita tells us you should do A, B, C, D. A is what? Association of devotees. Machitta, Madgata, Prana, Bodhayanta, Parasparam. Kathayanta, Shamam, Nityam, Tushanti, A means you associate with devotees. B. Books. Read Bhagavad Gita. Jai. Another high five. I think five times we are doing high five. Good boy. You are coming with me, na? What's your name? Ekaksh. Okay, you come with us. We will give you darshan of uh, Padmaksh. Krishna who has got lotus eyes. <laughs> so, a means association of devotees. B means books. We should read spiritual books. Hmm? We should read our study books also. Medical books, engineering books. That we have to do. That's our duty. But we should read spiritual books also. Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, Mahabharat, Bhagavatam. B. C means what? Eka Krishna nama kare sarva papakshay navavida bhakti Krishna nama haite hai Kali Kale Nama Rupe Krishna Avatar Nama Haite Haya Sarva Jagata Nistar Sadatam Kirta and Toma Metan Prashad Dedavata Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita always chant my names. Hmm? So C means through chanting. There is a mantra, you don't need diksha, you don't need initiation. You can chant any day, any time, anywhere. You can even chant in the bathroom. Well, shower you can sing. And that is the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. See, there are mantras which have to be chanted after bath, after doing achaman, wearing fresh clothes, sitting in a pavitra place, clean place, clean asan. But Hare Krishna Mahamantra is a special treatment recommended in the Vedas for a Kali Yuga. Iti Shodha Shakam Nam Nam Kali Kalpasha Nashanam Nataha Parataropaya Sarva Vedeshi Drishat. Lord Brahmaji says in Kali Santana Upanishad, Narad Muni asks him, Kali Yuga is full of problems and faults. Can 
ब्रह्माजी इज फादर ऑफ नारद मुनि ब्रह्माजी पिताजी कैन यू गिव मी सम सोल्यूशन सम ट्रीटमेंट फॉर द बैड इफेक्ट ऑफ कलयुग वी हैव वी आर बॉम्बार्डेड विद सो मच मटेरियल थिंग्स एवरीबडी अग्री और नॉट इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम टूडे यू केम बिकॉज सचिन प्रभु इन्वाइटेड है ना बट आई एम श्योर देर आर अदर ऑप्शन करेक्ट ऑन Friday evening there are other options also but the Sachin Prabhu friend he is inviting he'll feel bad let's go in Kaliyug there are so many distractions weapons of mass distraction so many distractions so how can people be saved Brahma ji gives answer he says Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare iti shodashakam nam nam these sixteen names Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम ट्वेल्व राम राम हरे हरे सिक्सटीन शोदशक नाम कली कलमश नाशन नात परतर उपाय टू डिस्ट्रॉय द बैड इफेक्ट ऑफ कलियु नात परतर उपाय देर इज नो बेटर ट्रीटमेंट डॉक्टर इज से टेक दिस मेडिसिन एंड देर इज नो बेटर मेडिसिन देन दिस ब्रह्मा जी से शोदशक नाम नाम कली कलमश नाशन नात पर इससे बेहतर उपाय नहीं है देर इज नो बेटर ट्रीटमेंट देन दिस सर्व वेदेश दृश्यते नारद जी यू कैन सर्च थ्रू ऑल द वेदास यू विल नॉट फाइंड अ बेटर मंत्र देन द हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र स्पेशली इन कलयुग बिकॉज दिस मंत्र हैज ओनली नाम देर इज नो नम देर इज नो शरण देर इज नो अदर वर्ड इट्स ओनली नाम भगवान नाम and in kaliyug only the name of krishna works harer naam harer naam harer naam eva kevalam kalo nasteva 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 gati rangot if you want to attain spiritual perfection in kaliyug just chant the holy names of krishna hare is radharani's name one of radharani's radha sahasra naam one of the name is hara she is called hara krishna is called hari hari means man hare prem de iti hari jo hamare man ko har leta hai use hari kehte hain and hara is that devi who steals the heart of krishna so krishna steals our heart manohar murlidhar he steals our heart and radharani steals krishna's heart so she is called hara devi so when you call radharani hara in the vocative it becomes hare like sita becomes sita radha becomes radhe so hara devi becomes hare so hare is radharani's name it's calling radharani hare means radhe krishna means krishna and ram means also krishna it's one of the name of krishna so hare ram means radha raman how many of you have gone to vrindavan and had darshan of radha raman so hare ram is radha raman i am not saying our acharyas have written commentary on hare krishna mahamantra hare ram is radha raman hare krishna is radha krishna so like that so this is yugal mantra hare krishna mahamantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this can be chanted in japa softly it can be sung loudly like how we are going to sing now there is no rule no restriction anybody can chant any time any day okay man woman kid old anybody can chant and it is all powerful hare krishna mahamantra it will purify the heart and it will evoke love for krishna in your heart theek okay? hai and the d is diet we just spoke about diet hmm? diet krishna prasad diet diet of krishna prasad only food that is vegetarian offered to krishna that we should eat just follow this a b c d everybody got it okay now those of you who have come for the first time i want to hear the answer from you what is a with with devotees not with shrupanakha not with manthara with the devotees of krishna okay a is association b is which book stardust film fair novels divine books bhagavad gita ramayana mahabharat shrimad bhagavatam holy books b is books c is mataji's c means chanting bhagwan naam ka jap karna c means chanting hmm? hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare c means chanting and d means dining we are going to diet <laughs> diet now uh, eating a diet of only krishna prasad not eating non veg hmm? avoiding onion garlic 
So that is the simple lifestyle by which grahasthas can make their life perfect. Chanting Hare Krishna, regularly associating with devotees. Hafte mein kam se kam ek baar, once in a week we should come and meet devotees. We meet our office colleagues five times a week. Once a week we should meet devotees at least. Hmm? So association, reading books, 10 minutes every day we should read Bhagavad Gita, hmm? Rama and Mahabharata. And read it to the children also. Ekaksh. Who are your parents? Abhi ho gaya, homework. Hmm? Abhi Ram Nomi aari, Ramayana se shuruat karo. Hmm? Ramayana ka Shri Ganesh aya nama from today. Hmm? It's, I, I can show you. You ask Ananga Sundari Mataji. She will show you on Veda base. There is Ramayana book. You can share the link. Hmm? So it's online also. You can read. You don't even have to wait to purchase. It's free online. Beautiful Ramayana. Ekaksha, you will love it. Next time you meet me, you tell me how you are liking it. Bilkul pahle panne se leke shuruat karo. Sundar hai. Balmi ke Ramayana. Thik hai? Bhagavatam tells books. Bhagavatam tells that is books also. Yeah, Prabhuji has. But this you can start to write. Ramayana. 10-15 minutes bedtime. Instead of reading Mickey Mouse, read this. Hmm? So B is books. A is association. B is books. C is chanting. And D is a diet of Krishna Prasad. Ghar mein fruits hai, offer it to Thakurji. Offer it to Krishna. You just need a photo. You can offer that painting of Krishna. As a deity's name. Please. And Krishna is with his parrots also. <laughs> chirping. Shukasari. So in this way, by following this A, B, C, D, we can make our life perfect in Kali Yuga, in the modern times, 21st century, in coming Georgia. We can come close to Krishna. And that will be the perfection of our life. Ek bar fir se bolo, ABCD kya hai? What is A? B? Which? C? What? Fir se. What time of the day we have to chant this mantra? What are the restrictions? Who can chant this mantra here? And D is what diet? Not paleo diet, not keto diet. <laughs> Krishna Prasad. Krishna Prasad. Vegetarian offered to Krishna. Hari Bol. Now listen. Before we do the D, the Krishna Prasad, let's do C. <laughs> because C comes before D. <laughs> A ho gaya, B ho gaya. We read Bhagavad Gita one shlok. We associated with each other. We laughed, came together, discussed. Now chanting and then we will have Krishna Prasad. Everybody excited? Now listen. One important thing. When my better half, Radha Bhav, when she is going to do Kirtan, when the Hare Krishna Mahamantra is sung, so she will sing, then we will repeat. It's called call and response. So when she sings with folded hands, we should take the Hare Krishna Mahamantra from the ears into the heart. Everybody's understanding? And then from our heart, that Mahamantra will come on our tongue and we will chant in response. So it comes in all auspiciousness comes inside. And when we chant, all the unwanted things, all the vices, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, false ego, it comes out. Mahamantra comes inside, all Krishna's mercy, Radharani's mercy is coming inside. We chant the Mahamantra, all the dirt in the heart comes out. Cheto Darpana, Marjanam, Shri Krishna, Sankirtanam. Are you ready? Okay. So let's enthusiastically do Hari Krishna Mahamantra, Hari Nam, Sankirtan. Hari Bol. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Before we do Sankirtan, any questions? Any doubts? Any comment? Yes, Divya Mataji. But the thing is, I just wonder, I'm not hearing, I use my AirPods. And then I just wonder that, you know, now physically, my ears at a point, they start hurting. I keep sometimes sending that, you know, you can't, you can't hear us. You look like you're getting deaf. So how do we accommodate? And then how do we, what medium should we use? 
what you can do is you can play some nice kirtans which even the family members will not mind going on and when you have to hear class you do it when you're alone when the kids go to school or um, when you're getting ready when you're in your bedroom you can hear when you're alone so that the kids don't have to get disturbed i think in moderation it should be okay it's Bluetooth technology, but we should not overdo it. Best is to hear with the Krishna given ears, the natural way, where you keep it somewhere, it's playing and you're hearing. That's the most natural way to hear. Um, okay. So you should hear. And when the family is there, you can hear Kirtan. So they also enjoy, you also like it. Okay. Revati Mataji, yes. So there is a sin even in eating vegetarian food. Because if you make spinach, shark, the whole plant is uprooted. You buy cilantro, the whole plant is killed. So there is sin even in eating vegetarian food, but it is less compared to eating non-veg. Because those plants cannot perceive pain. We should not give pain to other living entities. So there is some sin in eating vegetarian food also. So what is the way out? There is no way out. Because in Srimad Bhagavatam, Sripad Narad Muni says, Jeevo Jeevasya Jeevanam. You have heard that verse? Ahastani sahastanam apadani chatushpadam halguni atra mahatam Jeevo Jeevasya Jeevanam. Sripad Narad Muni tells that the rule in this world is one living entity is food for another living entity. One living entity has to be food for another living. It's the food chain. Okay. So, Jeevo Jeeva Se Jeevanam. Ahastani Sahastana. Those who don't have hands, they are food for those who have hands. We have hands. Plants don't have hands. So, we eat plants. Ahastani Sahastana. Apadani Chatushpadam. And those who don't have legs, they are food for those with legs. The deer has legs. Grass doesn't have legs. The deer will eat grass. And even animals, carnivores like bear or tiger, they can use their hands, they have claws. So, ahastani sahastana. A deer cannot use claws to grab somebody. So, a tiger will eat the deer. Ahastani sahastana. Ahpadani chatushpadam. Small fish will be eaten by big fish. Thalguni atra mahatam. Those who is big will eat the small. Thalguni atra mahatam. Jeeva jeeva se jeeva. This is the law. That one living entity is food for another living entity. There is no way around it. But devotees, they are released from the sin of eating vegetarian food because it is offered to Krishna. Therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Yadna Shishta Ashina Santo Muchante Sarva Kilvishan. They are freed from all sins. Now, if we eat vegetarian food without offering to Krishna, then Yadna Shishta Ashina Santo Muchante Sarva Kilvishan. Bhunjate. That they eat only sin, those who cook for themselves without offering it to Krishna, Atma Karana, they are eating only sins. So, Yadne Shishna Sina Santo, Muchante Sarva Kilvishai. Bhunjate, Teto Agham Pap, they are eating big sin. Who? Yaha Pachanti Atma Karana, those who cook for themselves. If we cook for Krishna, offer to Krishna vegetarian food, we are released from all sins. Because Krishna will accept it. Patram Pushpam Falam Toyam Yome Bhakta Parashadi Tadaham Bhakti Ruparitam Ashnami Paratam Krishna will eat it. Because it is offered with devotion. So vegetarian food, when it is plain giant food, vegetarian food, sin. Krishna Prasad, which is vegetarian menu, no sin. In fact, it will give spiritual benefit. Like this landlord got by eating one little piece of rice made by Lakshmi, which was offered to Lord Narayan. So vegetarian food also sinful, but when it is offered to Krishna, Krishna accepts it, then it becomes prasad. Then there is no sin. Clear? Anybody else? Okay. So yes. Which I want to get away from that. So how do I do it? 
you tell them about krishna you change the topic you tell mama and papa to tell you stories about krishna and you go and tell those stories to your friends in school that's what prahlad maharaj did okay then you can talk about krishna and listen about krishna when you are at home in school you can have fun okay you can have fun but have fun with good friends not friends who are too much into video games watching things that are not meant for kids don't talk to such such people such kids in the school talk to good kids you should identify who are good kids who listen to the teacher those kids who do what they are supposed to do hmm? those types of children you can have friendship you can have fun with them no problem and then when you are at home you can talk all you want about krishna okay but don't make friendship with uh, kids who are not good kids who don't listen to the teacher kids who don't listen to parents don't make friendship with such kids okay stay away from such kids but you can make friendship with the good kids okay your mummy daddy will tell you who are good friends but your question is very nice thank you krishna okay so we will start with the kirtan now are you ready madam come sit here fine so bandha bhai kid audio to do